Politics. What? What's happening? Finir? Oh. No, not unless Halfton sent you. Whoever you are, I want to know why there's no king on East Anglia's throne. Because the man in question ain't been married yet. Once he is, East Anglia will have its king. And little else. Which man? Oh, you know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> Wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attacked my clan. I want to know why and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who cannot keep the Danes in line? Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the arse and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham, who was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl made it clear. He wants a Saxon king married to a Dane for a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft, and the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. Show me. They rushed in like wolves, killing and burning as they went. It wasn't us. Your folk destroyed this country. I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burned to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you. Be we Dana Saxon, we all want the same peace, with land to till and home to keep, without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I'm a flying troll. You handled that well. Disputes between Saxon and Dane don't always end so cleanly. 
That was a clean result. A dispute ending without bloodshed is as clean as they come. Quite a brutal outlook. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I am not in the habit of killing kings, but I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes. For as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan, led by a Dane called Ruid, attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and amulets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Helfden's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I am here to see that it does not happen again. Lately, I've come to learn you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else if not a king should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the holdup? The holdup? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. Smoke ahead. That's beating. It could be the same men who attacked at the walls of Norwich. Stay here. I'll have a look. Survey the area, Sunan. The guards here are vigilant. What's the problem? My guts all wobbly with glee. I never knew you as a man given to verse. Ah, uh, their little worries, their little lives. They mean nothing to me. Ah, uh, their little worries, their little lives. They mean nothing to me. They're flying. What's 
the big noise? Saxon words. Already they speak some Dutch. <laughs> What's happening? What's going on? Wait a minute! That should be the last of these pig faced cowards. Oswald will be relieved to know of this. Ruiz clan. They left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. I'll be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. healthy seeming town this Oswald has done well for himself look there a lone dame can't trust that Shh. be kind yeah as Christ would come up Oswald where is this dinner you promised me Eivor you came dinner will still be served but I'm afraid you were too early my intended and her family are not ready This intended of yours, Oswald. Who is she? One of love or politics? Her name is Valdis. People don't marry for love these days, Eivor. 
This is an arrangement for East Anglia's benefit. She's from a Dane family whose military might is not to be trifled with. But her brothers, their motives are selfish. Why don't you ever look around and come back later? Dinner will not disappoint. Be kind, yeah? As Christ would command. Lords, ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I ask you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Finir, our steward, to our guests of honor, Brothir and Brode, and to my lovely bride to be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfdan commands him. But you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, bro, dear, that The is... last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty arse. Bro, dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. I won't be insulted here. <laughs> is that why you've come? To back this thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolfkist? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowning the throne. It's made of less wood than, uh, this one. We'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruet's clan. But between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, Wolfkist, or you'll find it freed of your face! So... Easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your flaccid ego. My flaccid what? Please stop this. You heard me. That's it. She called us flaccid. Limp, weak, soft. Ridiculous! Absurd! That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia's in the state it is. <sighs> you are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me, Don. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, 
will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I'll find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise. Oswald has set out for the day. I should have a word with him. <laughs> 